Judum sent me this pet grooming kit, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing and test it out to see how well this really works. So opening this up, first thing I'm gonna see is gonna be the user manual. And then right on top, we're gonna have two pieces. So here's the electric hair trimmer, here's a brush. And then right underneath here is gonna be everything else. So here's a brush with soft bristles. Here's a grooming brush. Here's the needle nose attachment, clipper attachments. And finally, the grooming vacuum itself. And this thing is gonna be pretty compact. And now taking a look at the bottom, there are gonna be these four rubber feet just to prevent it from sliding on the floor. And then they also do come off. So if you do wanna go ahead and take them off, you can do so easily. Now on the side here, there is gonna be this strap that goes ahead and holds the hoses together. So after taking it off, here's how the hose goes ahead and looks like. And here's the end. And then here's the other end where it's attached to the vacuum itself. So this is gonna be heavy more on this side because this is where the motor is gonna be and also where the different button controls are. So right here we have a power and then an M button. And then right here, here's where all the hair is gonna go ahead and fill up. And now I take this canister off, I can go ahead and pull it upwards with force or I can just go ahead and press this button right over here, just with my nail. And then I can apply some force up top and it comes right off just like so. And so here's a closer look at it. And then right on the front, we're gonna have like this metal mesh screen here. You can kind of go ahead and see through it. And it goes ahead and opens up just like so. And there it is, here's what the inside goes ahead and looks like. So I'll go ahead and attach this canister back, just like that, and then give it a push down until I hear a click, just like that. So now comes the most important part, which is testing this out. And right here, I'm gonna have the clippers. And to go ahead and attach it, all I have to do is just push it in and then give it some pressure, just like that. And there's gonna be no click, nothing. It's just purely by pressure. And to go ahead and take it off, all I have to do is just pull, just like so. So I'll go ahead and put that back in. And then also worth noting, right over here, there's gonna be this switch that I can switch upwards. And I do have to put like a good amount of pressure. And if I wanna push it back down, I can just press this button and it'll slide down. And right over here, there's gonna be two numbers. This is gonna be at 16 millimeters. Or if I push it up with my thumb, it's gonna be at 12 millimeters. So here you can go ahead and see how the clippers go ahead and move. So right now, it's gonna be like up here. And then when I press it down, it goes ahead and moves down. All right, now when it comes time to go ahead and install one of the combs, all you gotta do is just start from the top, just like so. And then go ahead and push down over here. And it's gonna go ahead and clip into place. Just like that. And it's gonna be nice and secure. And then if I wanna go ahead and turn it on, and just press the button. And the clippers immediately start moving back and forth. And while it's on, I can go ahead and also adjust it. Here you can see. So right over here, there's going to be two buttons. The first one's going to be the power on, power off. And the second one's going to be for the power mode. So when I turn it on, it's going to be at low mode. I press it, it'll go to medium. Press it again, it'll go to high. So the high mode is definitely going to go ahead and sound more like a vacuum, whereas the low mode is going to be pretty tranquil. So hopefully, you know, your dog, or in this case, my cat won't get too frightened from it. But what I do want to do with my cat tiger is not to go ahead and trim him. So I'll go ahead and take this out. I actually want to go ahead and use uh, this attachment over here just to go ahead and groom him. To reduce as much noise to not scare him, I am going to go ahead and just put the pillow over. So it goes ahead and drowns out the noise just a little bit. So now let's see how he likes it. It's good for now, so I can just go ahead and turn it off. All right, there, now he's gone. And right here, we can go ahead and see that there was some hair collected, so I can go ahead and just take this off. Just lift it up just like so. And opening it up. Here you can see it was stuck on the screen, so it did go ahead and worked pretty well. And he definitely still has a lot more fur to go ahead and groom. As you can see here, I definitely got some hair on me. But yeah, overall this definitely does go ahead and work pretty well. And when done using it, this can just go ahead and be taken off just like so. And also worth noting that it does have this part over here, which you can go ahead and just push out just like that. So any fur that was stuck in here can be brought to the top and then I can just kind of go ahead and take it off just like that. And here we could see the part that didn't get suctioned out. So overall, I really do like this grooming kit. It definitely worked pretty well. And I do like the fact that it is gonna be really compact. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And best of all, it does have this portion here that's gonna be easy to just go ahead and loop the hose around. But yeah, if you have a dog, if you have a cat and you're looking to go ahead and groom them or trim their hair a little bit, then definitely check this grooming kit out by Jidum.